a woodworker can never have too many clamps. Or so the saying goes, and yeah, it's still true, right? We love clamps, all our different styles of clamps, because woodworkers, right, we take wood, we mill it, we glue it, we clamp it together. And there's lots of different types of clamps out there. I have a couple featured here, uh, but yes, this video is gonna deliver on that promise of a game changer for glue ups. And so uh, if you can't wait, use those timestamps, skip on ahead. Uh, but I do wanna first talk about the different types of clamps because they are still useful in different applications. And so at least for my shop and the kind of things that I do, I'm gonna showcase some of these different clamps and their advantages and disadvantages. But but there is the payoff, there is the payout, a new system that really, really is efficient and gets great results. So here you have it, some woodwork with clamps, glue ups, let's go from there. So first up, I literally am gonna go through all these different types of clamps and talk about it. So again, if you don't need that, use those timestamps uh, to skip on ahead. Uh, but lots of clamps for different applications. I'll just start with my opinion, the best overall clamp is a pipe clamp, right? So you can buy um, these attachments, lots of different companies make them, and then you just go to your home center and get some pipe. Um, you can get the black pipe, I, I went with this option, but you can cut it to different length, you can get extenders, so I use these a lot, right? And these are great clamps to have. They're a lot more affordable than say a parallel, a parallel clamp. These are a little bit more expensive. And really with clamping, you don't need to exert like a crazy amount of force. A lot of these <sighs> clamp manufacturers will, you know, say, you know, how many pounds, you know, of force and all that. You really don't. But for my applications, like with cutting boards, uh, tabletops, you know, those types, this is, this is a great option. And so a great all around one pipe clamp. Just gonna start right there. Uh, parallel clamps are great. When I first started uh, woodworking, I just thought you had to have these because, you know, all the professional shops, they're great. I still love them. They just require a little bit more maintenance with cleanup. You got to cover them with tape. Uh, they do have a lot of pressure. So I, I I just have a set of four of these and they're great, uh, but they are spendier. Uh, with a pipe, you can just, you don't even need to cover it, right? You can scrape it. Usually I'll cover it with some painter's tape or people will use wax paper uh, just to, to help with cleanup. But those are the two clamps that I use uh, mainly. The other one are, are trigger clamps, right? They make some, some really big ones. These are really handy for cabinets, especially the longer ones, but you can get a, a small pack of these. These are just useful for so many applications and I have quite a few sets of these, right? And, and it is true, like a woodworker can never have too many clamps. I have, I have way too many. And, and so over the years, I've accumulated a lot. Uh, garage sales are great, estate sales. And so if you're new to woodworking, don't feel like you have to go out and buy the really expensive clamps right away. Uh, but I'm gonna walk you through some of them that, you know, helpful, kind of, kind of not helpful. Um, I'll just go for it. This is massive C-clamp. C-clamps really aren't necessary for woodworking. Uh, it's more of like, I would guess, machinist or, or you know, welding. Um, metal work, there are some applications, but I rarely ever use, you know, I have some different C-clamps, I never use them. Um, this baby right here, I actually use this a fair amount. Um, this is great for uh, holding pieces together. You know, you can do stuff at the router table. It's a stand. It, it can it can do a lot of other things other than just clamping. Uh, it does have these longer jaws. So there are some things where it's got that deeper reach and that is helpful if you're trying to, you know, close a gap and, and get things a little bit more flush. Uh, so the wooden screw clamps, they are kind of handy. It's just kind of fun to, to mess around with those. You can definitely check, you know, some videos on YouTube uh, for just like hacks and how to use these in different applications. There's been some great, great ones with that. But as far as the deep reach, uh, this one right here, this is a pretty deep reach. I have this one and this has come in really, really handy. Uh, you know, if I do a glue up just to kind of reach in. So sometimes uh, this is helpful. Uh, the other, really common clamp is kind of the F style clamp. Sometimes it has different names. So this is like an older Craftsman uh, Jorgensen before they were Pony Jorgensen, right? There's lots of those. Bessie obviously makes one. If you're just trying to build your clamp collection, Harbor Freight, right? So Harbor Freight, their F clamps are amazing. I think it was David Picciuto uh, makes something like talked about like this was such a great buy. So I have these in different lengths. It's nice having some of these smaller ones, just having a bunch of these uh, for, for unique glue ups, really handy and so affordable, so affordable. And they work, honestly, they work just as well as you know some of the Bessie ones and other ones like that. So F-Style, those are great ones to have. Uh, other ones, so there's auto ones, like Craig makes these, this one's Armor Tool. 
These are great if you're doing like pocket hole joinery. Obviously, you know, this one's great for, for welding and whatnot, but I use these a fair amount, uh, but these, these are really handy and helpful. This one right here um, is, is pretty, it is handy. I use it sometimes, right? And so it's got the four corners so I can stretch it out. Uh, this is good for boxes and there's some applications where, where this one is helpful. Uh, if you see some of my older videos, I, I use these on, sometimes I'll use them on frames helpful. All right, so these are the main clamps that I use. However, a new one, uh, a new one coming right up. But wait, I promise it's worth it. Thank you for your patience. The only way these videos are possible is sponsors, right? That's the only way I can do it. I have the time away from family to make these videos. So if you enjoy my videos and, and you appreciate the content, please watch, don't skip ahead uh, for today's sponsor, which is Aura. So online safety is crazy important these days. Data breaches galore, but more than just data, more than just identity theft, Aura is an all-in-one digital safety app. Features for you, uh, for your kids, for your whole family, so many applications. So Aura is that all-in-one digital safety app, right? It's got all the features that you're looking for, all rolled into one affordable and fair price. Whether it's your data, preventing spammers, scammers, and more from identity theft, taking your data, just having it out there. So many other features like VPN, antivirus, identity theft insurance. There's parental controls and safety for your kids. A lot of other features, again, that would probably be in other apps all rolled into one. Since signing up, Aura has already found several of my leaked passwords, my personal information that's being sold by data brokers, uh, my emails, my health information, right? Other, other information I don't want other people to get, uh, as well as my identity, right? They're working on my behalf to clean it up, uh, clean up my, my digital profile, uh, my footprint, and they're submitting all those opt-out requests, those ones that are virtually impossible to do on your own. So it's, it's protection and it's ongoing protection. Also, one of my favorite features is it stop the spamming, right? Phone calls, text messages, emails galore. It has already a huge difference and it's continuing to get better. Aura is always on. Aura is always on doing the work of, of cleaning up your information, keeping you safe, keeping your family, your kids safe. It's given me peace of mind and I'd love for it to give you some peace of mind too. So I genuinely, I'm not just saying this because it's a sponsor. I do not take sponsorships lightly and I do believe in this company and I feel it is a huge value for my family and I think it'd be, it can be a huge value for yours as well. So uh, use this QR code or you can use this link, uh, aura.com slash six, eight, two week free trial, sign up uh, and just see what Aura can do for you and how it can give you that same peace of mind. Thank you. All right, on to a little bit more of the projects. All right, so projects meaning this game changer for glue ups. It really is, right? And so the concept might not be new, but the affordability of these four way kind of DIY kits, you're not spending 150, 200 bucks for two clamps, way more affordable. So you've seen my face enough, really quickly, let's show what these look like and why they're so helpful. So here is an end grain glue up, right? So I have an end grain cutting board and I'm just adding the, the piece on the top and the bottom and then you just attach them and you just apply the pressure. It's pretty, pretty self-explanatory. Um, here I'm just adjusting it a little bit for this particular pattern. But this is so great, especially when you're using exotic woods like this Wenge or really expensive wood and you don't want to lose too much of your thickness when you surface it. Um, so you just do a standard glue up, but then you just apply your pressure and you don't have to mess around with adding calls or other things. And just with these clamps alone, you don't even need to add additional clamps. Obviously this is a wider panel, so I went with three sets as opposed to two, but you can see how flat it is, right? And that's the idea of those calls, but it's adding the perfect amount of pressure, uh, just getting great results, really, really flat. And that's gonna save you so much more material. Uh, one tip I would give is just using some four by fours like this covered in that same uh, sheathing tape as the clamps and just a little rest uh, for uh, these clamps. You can obviously make different lengths and different sizes, uh, but this one right here, you can see how it's resting. So then I have space on the bottom and I don't have to mess around as much uh, getting these clamps in place as opposed to just straight on the ground. So that's an option. But making the clamps is really easy. Uh, here I'm just milling up some poplar. You could certainly use two by fours or any hardwood you wanted. 
So I'm just cutting these to the width that they're recommended. Uh, again, you can do any length that you want, uh, can kind of mess around with that. So here I'm taking the attachment pieces and I just marked out where I want the holes. I'm drilling some pilot holes just so the wood doesn't split and then uh, use the, the screws, the hardware provided, uh, just to go ahead and attach them all together. Uh, but lots of different lengths uh, that you could mess around with, um, but it's pretty fun, pretty fun and pretty easy uh, to put together as far as these DIY kits, as opposed to the much more expensive ones uh, that already come put together. Here's that sheathing tape again. Uh, I use these on epoxy pours. It just makes it so you can scrape off the glue after the fact, really easy for cleanup. I've done painter's tape, but but it's kind of messy, uh, doesn't always work as well, and so it just pops right off. Uh, but here is some really nice paduke, a lot of different pieces, making some end grain strips for a cutting board, but so, so perfect results, right? Dead flat, right? You can see how, how perfectly flat that is. I got a good even pressure, good squeeze out. And it was just so much easier than messing around with calls. Uh, here's another one I did. I wasn't trying to show like how wonky it is, but if you just use traditional methods, it can bow up on you and it can be a little uh, troublesome. And then after the fact, you get this little gap here. So you're gonna have to surface it that much more and you lose a lot more material as opposed to that. So uh, using calls, really helpful. But this system uh, with the calls, with the four-way pressure, so easy. Uh, here you can see this one, I used the longer one. It's a little too long. Um, so I was able to uh, offset that with some little spacers in between. But consider the different lengths, uh, the different size ones as you make these DIY kits. So the idea is not new, right? Four-way pressure, it just makes it so much more efficient. Now, calls, calls the idea C-A-U-L-S. I've talked about those in, in a lot of videos. That's just keeping all of your glue ups, right? Kind of level and parallel. So you can just take some scrap hardwood, uh, cover it with painter's tape or that sheathing tape, and you just put it on the top and bottom and you clamp it just like this, but without the clamp. That is an option. However, it's just, it's cumbersome and I know it's a good practice, but a lot of times, like if I'm being real, I have limited time in the shop. I don't do it, right? I just do a quick glue up and kind of hammer it, try and get it here. And so it's a great practice. And if you're already doing it, awesome, good on you. Uh, but efficiency, this is just so much easier. Just throwing this in like this like this, it's all there and it's giving four-way pressure and it's better results than just calls and it's just way more efficient. It's amazing, right? It really, it has been a game changer for me, like doing a bunch of end grain glue ups where especially if you're doing end grain cutting boards, you do not want it to be uneven because it takes forever to surface them, whatever your setup, especially if you have, you know, what most people have for a setup. But if you're talking big tabletops, doing a bunch together, it's just gonna save you a lot of work uh, later on, just a superior glue up. So fantastic, highly, highly recommend. All right, so there you have it. Obviously, great tool, I highly recommend. I still am gonna use my other, my other clamps, but I'm gonna go for these most of the time, right? And so I'm gonna get some more, have some different lengths. There are some other ones online. I've seen people uh, use metal struts and you can have them a little bit more, the ability to change it and customize it. It's just the cost is so much higher. And the point of these DIY kits is it's just so much more affordable. Obviously, link down below uh, for this kit, some of these other clamps if so interested. If this video provided value for you, please consider subscribing to see more videos like this. Uh, usually it's a build video. Usually I'm making projects, uh, but there've been a couple tips, a couple uh, little things recently. I thought I'd make a video to, to showcase it a little bit more. So, and yes, the sponsor of this video, the reason it's possible is Aura. So again, uh, just take a picture of that QR code, check it out, learn a little bit more on their website. Amazing, right? So many, so many applications, more than just identity theft, but that's like ridiculous to say, because that's a real deal, right? There is so much data leaks. So it's more than just identity theft protection and, and data protection. So check it out, 14 days, two weeks free, check it out. Until next time, take care one and all.